All right, so today we are going to be talking about how to make a class picture using Bitmoji. So first step is I'm actually going to show you how to create a Bitmoji for each of your students on the Bitmoji app. Okay, before I start though, side note, there is an awesome app called Record It, um, which you can use on your phone to screen record whatever's going on, on your phone. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna play the video I made talking about how to create a Bitmoji for each student on your phone. Okay, so here is how you create a Bitmoji for each of your students on the Bitmoji app. So I'm gonna go into Bitmoji and let me exit out of here. Okay, so what you will do is you need to log out of your Bitmoji account and then it will take you to a screen that says either sign in with Snapchat or sign up with email. You're going to want to sign up with email and then just choose an email that's not associated with your Bitmoji account. Um, mine's through Snapchat, so it worked out. I can just use one of my other emails. Um, but make sure you have a separate account because you're going to be resetting your avatar multiple times and you don't want to have to reset your own personal Bitmoji that you always use. Okay, so that being said, once you get in and you sign up, you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. And then you're going to choose whether you're making a boy or a girl. So I'm going to pick girl for this one. Skip the selfie because obviously you're not taking the picture. All right, so it's probably super helpful if you have a picture of your students. Obviously, I'm not at school right now, so I don't have a picture in front of me of my students. Um, I have a lot of like pictures of my students working or group pictures, but it's really hard to see eye color in a picture like that. So I also have been watching my students flip grid videos over and kind of looking at their eye color. Um, most of them I know, but you know, when you haven't seen them, I mean, I haven't seen them in person in almost two months. So that being said, you might forget what their exact eye color is. So that's probably the hardest one to do. All right, so then you just pick your skin color that you want, hair color. I'm gonna show you the one that I made because I am in love with this one. Um, my one student, because she has amazing hair. All right, anyway, you can change. Obviously they're kids and they're probably really not gonna have dyed hair um, unless you're doing this with older kids. All right, you can change whatever you want. Um, my advice is keep it pretty simple because this is very time consuming. So make sure that you only do the minimum things you have to, unless you wanna spend all day doing this, then go for it. Um, it is really fun. And it's just nice to have a picture of your kiddos since my school doesn't do class pictures until spring. So obviously we miss those. So I don't have a class picture this year. So this is my main reason behind making this. All right, so there is my person. Again, you can change anything you want, up to you. Um, I skipped some of the other things, so I'm going to go ahead and cross our notification. Hold on here. All right, so I just changed the lipsticks, probably the easiest thing to do. Then I don't change anything else. The only thing I do change is body type. Um, most of the kids, I did the tiniest one because I want them to look like kids. I mean, obviously, I try to make them true to size to my kids so that they look like themselves. Anyway, um, obviously, change the chest size unless you're doing older students. Um, I don't do the outfit part. I just pick an outfit. Again, with that, make sure you're on Bitmoji Deluxe because that has the most options. And I picked that one because that's the one I use, and I wanted all of my pictures to be. Okay, so then I just picked the t-shirt. Try to keep it really simple, like things my students wear, like leggings or jeans or whatever. Because um, I really am bummed, so Bitmoji, if you're listening, um, if you could add dresses to this area, because I have some kids that wear dresses a lot, or girls, and that would be nice. Thank you. 
all right, so change the pants however you want. Um, there were some boys I was like, I don't think I've ever seen them wear jeans. So I had to make sure I chose this one. All right, I did sneakers for pretty much all of them. Again, on the side here, you can change the color of anything. All right, then you hit save. Here. Okay, and then you hit the gear button, or not the gear button, the search button at the top. And then the best way to get a um, picture you like is hit photo because it gives you all those gaming places. And then click on the one you like. Um, I have a Mac so I can airdrop, but also you can go ahead and share it any way you like. Messages, um, whatever, email, your choice. But I just airdrop it to my Mac and go from there. Or you can always download it, save it to your phone, email it to yourself, whatever. Okay, when you're done with one student, you're going to hit cancel. Then you hit the gears button for the settings, you click my account, and then click reset avatar. You hit OK, and then it takes you back to this screen, and you can make another avatar. And then you just keep going through that same process till you have every student made, and you have a picture uploaded of every student. OK, so that is how you make your Bitmoji using the app. Um, hopefully, that's pretty simple and easy for you. Um, obviously, if you have a different, like, not an iPhone or not a MacBook. Some of your things are gonna look a little different, but it should generally be about the same thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a background. So here's what I made. I'm going to make a new slide though so I can show you how to do this. Okay, so there's probably an easier way to do this, but I just duplicate the slide and then delete the text boxes. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the insert image button, upload from computer. If you have things from your computer, like your people, but actually I want to show you how to get the background first. Um, so if you have a background save that you use, then sure, go for the computer. But if you don't, this is your first time doing this, um, click search the web. And then you can type in. So for the background, you just type in wall and floor background. Oops. on it and then it gives you a bunch of different options to choose from and you can just scroll through till you find the one that you like it's up to you so also too if you don't like any of these ones you can always go to google and type in and then save it to your computer and upload it all right so i'm going to pick this one at the top that i use all right, we're gonna pick this one. So you can either click and insert or you can drag. Um, also, I would recommend if you have a Mac though, I would do this on Keynote because I find that Keynote's a lot easier to work with and it's not as constrained as um, Google is because they do a lot of framing. But anyway, you just format your picture so it fits. And then next step is to search for like risers or bleachers, or if you just want to put all your kids on the ground, it's up to you. So you do the same thing, search in the search bar, and then put it in. Or if you downloaded a picture, I'm gonna show you how to do that for this one. Um, you upload from computer, and then I'm just gonna pick my bleachers, and I'm gonna show you an app I use, or not an app, a website I use to remove backgrounds um, in a minute when I do the students. So I'm going to hit open. All right, here are my bleachers. Now for this one, I actually cropped my image for my bleachers though, because I didn't need that many. All right. So now there's my bleachers. Now I want to start adding students in. So first thing I'm going to show you is how to do, um, remove the background. So if you are looking at your picture, so here's my picture of all my students. I'm just going to pick a student. Let's say I'm going to do this one. So now I'm going to go to my search bar in my internet browser. I'm going to type remove BG and it should come right up. Um, this website is awesome because it literally removes all the background from your photo. So once you get there, it will take you to upload image, you click on that, 
and it will open up your browser. You pick the student you want. I'm gonna pick this one this time. I already did her open. And then it'll save your picture for like until you exit out of the internet, but that's not really a big deal because it's just bitmojis. Um, download. Now you have your picture with no background. So then I'm going to go back to my presentation. I'm going to hit this button again, but this time I'm going to upload from my computer and I'm going to add my student. So what I like to do is I like to crop the image because I find when you put it like this, all this extra space overlaps when you're trying to add students in and it makes it kind of hard. So you hit crop image and I just basically constrain it so it's just around the edges of my person. And then hit enter. All right, there you go. And then you have a movable person. Now for the kids though, I make them a lot smaller because you can't adjust your height in the Bitmoji app, but you can make the kids pretty relatively small. Okay, so there's a student. Um, and then I put adults like down on the side, you know, kind of like they make a stand for pictures. So I'm gonna upload. And also with that too, when you um, create the remove background file, it'll give you two of each one. So I deleted my original one and just saved one with um, no background. Um, that's the one, it'll say um, view.png at the very end. That'll be your remove BG file. So that's the one you want. Okay, so then you just click who you want. I'm gonna go to the teacher and add myself in here. All right, and then I'm actually a pretty good size, but try to make sure obviously since you're an adult, that your size is a little bit different compared to your student, so they look like a kid. Okay, and then you can arrange. So I'm gonna move her over. See, that's the thing too, I forgot I need to do that again. You need to make sure every time you crop though, so they don't overlap so much. Because otherwise it's hard to kind of click. And that's also why I really like using Keynote or PowerPoint better, because everything just flows and works more easily in there. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna throw myself in there, then I click on her, I'm gonna add her, I'm gonna scoot her over a little bit, there we go. Okay, so let's say you're done with your whole first row and you wanna add students to the back row. This is where you might wanna know how to do this. So again, upload from computer. I try to do mine like boy, girl, boy, girl. Luckily I have 12 boys and 12 girls in my class, so it worked really well. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick a boy. All right, same thing, I'm gonna shrink him. So he is tiny like a child. All right, then I'm gonna move him and I'm going to right click. I'm gonna crop his image so he's not overlapping as much, whoops. And I just give you a disclaimer here. I'm not the most seasoned YouTube video maker so I apologize if I I'm rambling or I say um a lot. I'm just kind of rethinking through the process since I already did this. Okay, so there you go. Right, right back row. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna place him like I'm placing him in the background. Obviously he's gonna be on top of my other student. So I'm gonna click on the student underneath him, right click, I'm gonna hit order, and I'm gonna hit bring to front. Okay, don't hit send to back because then it will put it behind here unless you upload this as a background, which I'll show you how to do that too, because that's almost better. Um, so that is how you do that. So now I will show you, let's say I want to get rid of this and I want to put a background in here. So I think my background is saved on my computer. So I'm going to go to background. I'm going to click choose image. And then obviously you can do, if you have photos, stuff in your Google Drive, whatever you want to take a picture, sure. But for background purposes, you probably have a picture on your computer. So I'm gonna hit browse. Um, and then it should be in my download somewhere. There it is, I'm gonna click my background. I'm gonna hit open. And then it will actually make your file as a background, which is something I don't know why I just learned this like a month ago but it's so much easier because then like if you're making an assignment for your kiddos, they can't move the background. So they don't have all that issue with their background moving when they're trying to move the 
text and all that different things. Okay, anyway, so here's my picture. Um, obviously, I don't want this at the bottom, so I'm going to um, probably change that later. But right now, it's fine because I'm just showing you how to upload. So now it's my background scene. It doesn't move, so I can move all my other things around on my background, which is nice. So then you can just pretty much set everything wherever you want, add the rest of your kids. Um, let's say you want to share this, not in slides. You're going to go to file, um, and then you're going to hit download, and then you're going to hit as PNG, which would be your current slide. And then it will just download just your slide as a picture, and then you can share it wherever you want. So hopefully this video was helpful. You can always put comments below if you have a suggestion or if you like something, that would be great. Um, also, if you know a shorter way to do some of these things and you can are welcome to comment and let me know. All right, thank you for watching and have fun making your class pictures.